Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working in module 5 and that means we are working on lesson number 16 where we are drawing trapezoids to clarify their attributes and defining trapezoids based on those attributes. Trapezoids. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to use a straight edge in problem number 1 and grid paper to draw the following. We are going to try to draw a trapezoid with exactly two right angles. Now I would like you to pause the video here for a second and come up in your head with the definition of a trapezoid because I gotta tell you I always miss this definition by a little bit so I'm hoping that I can remember back to today's lesson. I'll go ahead, go ahead and let you pause. Okay if you're like me you thought about the fact that a trapezoid has a pair of parallel sides that are opposite each other. But what I always forget is that a trapezoid has at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. It can have one pair of opposite sides or it can have two pairs of opposite sides. That's the part I always forget. So hopefully you did better than I did. But let's go ahead and follow uh, our, these directions. To use a straight edge and a grid paper to draw a trapezoid with exactly two right angles. Huh. Well, let's see. I know that a trapezoid is going to have to have two parallel lines. So let me see if I can... Now I'm not able to use a straight edge here on mine, so I'm going to have to just go ahead and free draw. So I hope you excuse my uh, my drawing here. So I know I need to have one line going here and another line that's parallel. So let's see, let's see if that works. Um, okay, let me pretend for a second we've gotten like that. And you know what? Those parallel lines, let's see, so I could draw one connecting line here. But you notice I'm noticing something, which is that if I extend this line all the way out to here, and I go ahead and close this off and make a rectangle, well then I'm going to have one, two, three, four right angles. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this short here. I've erased a little bit of my line here, and I think I'm going to connect them like this. So that's C. Um, are there at least two opposite sides that are parallel? Yep. There's at least one pair. Awesome. And are there two right angles? Yep, there's one right here. I'm going to mark these in red. There's a right angle right there, and there's a right angle right there, and this is not a right angle, and this is not a right angle either. So I think we have a trapezoid, and I think we have exactly two right angles. So the fact that this looks like a kind of a speeding locomotive looks fantastic, and I think we've got our trapezoid. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem from tonight's homeworks. In this one, we're told that Kaplan incorrectly sorted some quadrilaterals into trapezoids and non-trapezoids as pictured below. Circle the shapes that are in the wrong group and tell why they are sorted incorrectly. Well, I don't want to rob you of the chance of solving all these problems, so let me just look. Let's see. Um, I'm going to look at a couple of these and just see if I think that they're right. So let's see. How about this one right here? Well, let's see. I'm remembering my definition of a trapezoid. The trapezoid has at least two. It's a quadrilateral. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep, four, four sides and at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. And sure enough, I see that, right? This line and that line are opposite sides, and they appear to be parallel. So I'm pretty sure that Kaplan got this one right. That looks pretty good to me. Let's see, how about over here? Uh, let's see, what about this one right here? Is this a non-trapezoid? Well, let's see, is it quadrilateral? Yep, one, two, three, four sides. And it has at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. In fact, it actually looks like it has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. So you know what? I think I'm going to circle this one because I think he got that in the wrong one. I think he made the same mistake that I often make, which is that I forget that trapezoids have to have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel, but they can have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. So I bet Kaplan got that wrong. And this shape should be over here with the trapezoids. Now, I'm not going to go through the rest of these seven shapes, right? These four right here, I'm going to leave for you to try to figure out. And these four right here, um, I'm going to let for you, um, these three right here, I'm going to let you figure out those as well, because you got to have something to do on your homework tonight, and you got to be able to critique Kaplan's reasoning. So good luck, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.